Hello, welcome to another episode of Baby Book 2016. It's Bossy's troop again. Hold on. It can easily said to be Annie's troop, for the female in question. Lovey splits her time between Bossy's and presumably her own natal troop, Annie's more or less equally. And that cute little thing on the left was the baby born to her in 2016. I caught the two by chance, one day in early September, 2016. I was looking for Stumpy then, and the duo just happened to be around. Look at those eyes. Wasn't it a gorgeous baby? But I just left the duo as I wasn't following Annie's troop then. It wasn't another month and a half later before I bumped into the duo again when I was filming Stumpy. That baby must be at least three months old by then. And you could see it really was an active little thing. A happy little baby, wasn't it? And seemingly a confident one too, as its mum Lubby was foraging elsewhere, though still within sight. But by November, something that I didn't know about could happen. Time was lean then, as you can see the yellow Cheetos stain on Lubby's mouth. At this time of the year, they have to rely on sucking nectar from the blossoms of Camellia. What was unusual with the duo was that they were treading on Bossy's turf. In fact it seemed the two were part of Bossy's troop throughout the winter months. And Lubby's baby was a regular playmate with the babies in Bossy's troop too.
Had I not met Lovey with her baby before in Annie's troop, I would have easily assumed that they were a regular member in Bossy's troop too. But something just wasn't quite right though. Lubby's baby seemed to be less of his former confident self here with our gang. Was it that the loud visitors with his equally loud music? But it didn't seem to have affected our gang's babies at all. And peace at long last when it found its mum, Lovey. I was glad I did hang around longer that day. Lovey and her baby might be foraging together with our gang during daytime. They were on their own by nightfall.
Bossy's troop had already left without them. Lubby and her baby were visitors only, and they were tolerated because of their connection with a beta male in our gang. Taggy. And this arrangement also extends to two other females from Annie's troop too, as we have found out over the following years, Dana and her daughter, Wibby. I suppose that's why Lubby's baby wasn't feeling at home in our gang. He was in an unfamiliar setting, with adults and babies he didn't know from birth. I suppose that feeling of insecurity was over him all the time while he was in our gang. But his mum had no choice, goodies usually come easier with a bigger troop which can claim a slot along Golden Hill Road. And being a visitor, she and her baby were seen as taking advantage of our gang, especially by lowborns like Gypsy. <coughs> Lubby's baby boy really needed his mum to be in sight to feel secure. and Lubby would reach out to him as soon as she could. Nothing can allay a baby's fear more than the sight, smell and sound of its mother. Nothing can compare to a mother's presence. But as time passed, Lubby's boy finally fit in, and grew confident once again. And by Christmas 2016, he was feeling at home with our gang.
he was considered a regular member by the babies, and they would seek him out to play with. I would say he was a happier baby than poor Naughty then. His mum Lubby would never abandon him. And so this baby boy of Lubby grew alongside with the babies in our gang for one season. He was known to us as Dubby. His mum Lubby took him back to their natal troop, Annie's the following spring.